My name is David, and this is a review of my build for the GrowWatt SPF 5000 ES. I have it set up in generator and off-grid mode, and it is providing 220 to my breaker box. And I wanted to show what I went through to build this system. My solar power comes in through these four 8 gauge wires here, comes in through this disconnect and feeds into these two breakers. This is a surge protector that can turn on and dump to ground if there is a short or a lightning strike. And the power is coming in through these two wires and feeding into the solar input on the inverter right there. Back there are the two battery connections. They go down and connect to my four batteries that are in series. So that's 12 volt batteries, four of them in series, as can be seen like that. Connected to the output side of the inverter are three wires that go down and feed into my breaker box. There is a double pole breaker right there where the white and black wires feed into the breaker as well as the ground wire connecting to the ground bar. On the other side of my breaker box I have a second double pole breaker with the white and black wires coming out and going into this 5000 watt transformer that provides a neutral and shifts power across the phases that allows this inverter to be providing 220 to power, put 220 into this box. So there are four wires on this side, white and black into the double pole breaker, a ground wire and a neutral wire. All four go up into this transformer and are wired in right there with the, the ground the neutral and line one and line two. This inverter is providing power to this breaker box and powering this shed. So these lights that are on are powered to that socket through this through this breaker box. Another thing you want to pay attention to is reading the manual that comes with the inverter and there's a bunch of settings that you can go through and change inside of the screen on the inverter. One important one to pay attention to is setting 9 which you need to change from the default of 50 Hertz to 60 Hertz, which is what we use in the United States. I would suggest going through and marking the different settings that would be useful for your use case and changing those on the inverter. I have 10 solar panels that are on the roof of this shed and they are in five series two parallel so five of the panels are connected end to end to end and the other five panels are connected together end to end and then they are parallel together here so the, the two different pairs this is a set of five panels and another set of five panels comes in through this disconnect and then they parallel 
all together there. Putting your panels in series is very important because you have to have a input voltage of at least 120 watts, or I'm sorry, 120 volts for this inverter to work correctly. So my solar panels produce 30 volts and I have them connected in five series so they're actually producing 150 volts. Which can be seen here on the screen. It's fluctuating around between 150 and 120 volts. So that essentially covers what you would need to know to build this 5,000 watt grow watt system. Again, you have the solar power coming in through a breaker, feeding into the inverter. You, out, uh, you have the output, the AC output going into a double pole breaker and a double volt breaker for the transformer and then the battery you have it, this system is 48 volts so you have to have four 12 volt batteries in series and there is, I have a battery disconnect right here that disconnects the positive of the battery so if I need to work on the inverter, I can turn off that breaker and turn off the breaker for the solar and that will completely disconnect the inverter from power. I will post a video about the difference between having your panels in parallel or having your panels in series. So check the links in my description below for further videos. This has been David with Rocket City Solar. Thank you for watching.